All right, so I have here the Mauno PD100 XLR dynamic microphone, and we're gonna test it out to see if this is any good. And right now, it's connected to my M Audio audio interface with a gain level set to four. So the gain levels are one to ten. So right now, it's set to four, and I'm using an Altron MA1 mic booster because this mic is a passive dynamic microphone so the default gain level is low so you need to use a booster if you want to have a higher gain output from this mic but later on we will test this mic without any mic booster and without any eq post processing whatsoever because right now the sound that you're hearing is eq'd so later on during the tests we're gonna do it without any post processing whatsoever so let's start off with a noise floor test. This time, no more EQ, no more post-processing from this point on. So again, noise floor in three, two, one. All right, so that was a noise floor. I have an air conditioning unit turned on here and a COB light with the fan noise. So I'm not sure if you heard that, but let me know in the comment section. This time, let's do the plosives test. I'm going to do two tests for this. One, when I'm facing the mic right here and two, when I'm facing the mic right here. All right, please place the pizza pie on the plate. 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 All right, so this time let's do the sibilance test to see how sensitive this mic is with loud S's. So let's start. I see the snake from the school in the sand. I see the snake from the school in the sand. I see the snake from the school in the sand. All right, this time let's do a quick vocal test for you to hear the raw sound texture from this mic. I want somebody to share, share the rest of my life. Share my innermost thoughts, know my intimate details. I want somebody to share, share the rest of my life. Share my innermost thoughts, know my intimate details. All right, so those were the tests using the Mauno PD100 with the Altron MA1 mic booster. This time we'll do the test without the mic booster, which means that I have to adjust my gain level on the audio interface up to almost nine so that I would have a louder um, gain output from this mic. All right, so right now I have the Mauno PD100 connected directly to my M Audio audio interface with the gain level set to eight. And we're going to do the same tests earlier so that you can hear the difference with and without the mic booster and without any EQs whatsoever. So this time, let's do the noise floor test in three, two, one. This time, let's do the same plosives test. Please place the pizza pie on the plate. 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 All right, so this time let's do the sibilance test. I see the snake from the school in the sand. I see the snake from the school in the sand. I see the snake from the school in the sand. All right, so this time let's do the vocal test. I want somebody to share, share the rest of my life, share my innermost thoughts, know my intimate details. I want somebody to share, Share the rest of my life, share my innermost thoughts, know my intimate details. So those were my tests on the Mauno PD100 dynamic microphone. And I think personally, it's too bassy for my own taste at least. But you know, if you're great at EQing, sound engineering, that shouldn't be a problem for you. But one thing to like about this mic is the aesthetics and the looks. You know, it looks so expensive and classy, although it only costs 2,000 pesos. Let me know in the comments what you think about this mic. And I'm going to end this video right here. If this video helped you, leave a like and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Share the video if you want to. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one.